in order to understand prophecy, you have to uh, know conspiracy or believe in conspiracies. Kahalayim, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Kakwadash, double honors to the apostles and others of great millstone rule well over the flock. Shalom and salutation to Akim out here, pushing the words of truth and sincerity, and Shalom to all the elect Akim, scattered Israelites, Israelite foreigners, like Akwaf as well. And power my flow well in this video is out of fine. In order to um, understand prophecy, you have to believe in conspiracies. Conspiracy are thought out ideas of um, planned out. Here's the definition right here. A secret plan by a group to do something unlawful or harmful. So the secret plan of the group Esau Edom, known as the devil or the adversary of Satan in the Bible, their secret plans are starting to unravel, come to fold. You go into Psalms 86. Let me grab that real quick. And talk about this. <clears throat> and talk about plans. And we ain't just talking about a plan. We're talking about a conspiracy. Right? Right. It's locking. Psalms 86. It says... I'm looking for 83. Psalms 83 and 1. Keep not thou silence, O power. Hold not thy peace and be not still, O power. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult. And they that hate, hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against our people and consulted against our hidden ones. And there it is, right? Because even in the NLT right here, they... They devise crafty schemes against your people. They conspire against your precious ones. So that consult, that's a consultation amongst each other is what's happening. Where they're taking crafty counsel. It's it's all conspiracy right now. There's just counsel going on. It's it's consulting, right? Devising a plan, consulting together. So we are in a time where all the all of these conspiracies are going to start to manifest. You're going to start to see happenings in the world that look like staged, look like movies. And they'll feel like that because they are staged. This is the crafty council. It says they have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. And then in Obadiah, it returns the favor by saying uh, Esau um, is going to be brought down. And those that were in confederacy, those same names and names here, along with Edom and Moab, those that are conf in confederacy shall basically disobey you or turn their backs on you or turn against you. And so Esau, Edom isn't going to have any friends of the Moabites and the Ishmaelites and the Amalekites. You know, uh, that's, that's Esau and the Philistines. He ain't going to have any friends of them very soon. Um, so for this to be understood by us, that's that's a wise counsel. All right. That's a wise counsel. How about Matthew 24 and 6? It says, and ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars. So a rumor of a war is just that. It's not the exact war, but it's hearing of a rumor of it. And a rumor, I looked this up earlier. It says, um, which ye heard. Um, a report, a hearing is, is what you heard. And if you hearing that America going to be struck by missiles, but... It's all a conspiracy until it's proven or then you don't have the capability ability to understand prophecy and it's not given unto you. Where prophecy begins, your your, your mind, uh, your belief ends. In Second Thessalonians 5 and 1, it says, but of the times and of the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you for you yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so come as a, as a thief in the night. And it's the understanding that the Lord has given to us. He made us, he, he quickens us. The scriptures tell you that we're going to see, now we see kind of not the full picture, the full story. But as time progresses, he gives us, it's like he wiped a looking glass. And he's making that vision, his vision, 
because it's his vision. He making it more and more clear. It's like if you got a vision, right? And you try to tell people about your vision, they don't really feel it or they're not really hearing you out. But you can see it clearly. Well, in order for you to see it or somebody else to see it as clear as you, you have to describe it that well. So the scriptures in the text is what describes the vision of the Heavenly Father that well. So we can un start the uh, that mixed in with the Holy Spirit and the Lord's remnant. We start to see clearer and clearer and clearer and pick up on nuances and, and the scriptures and things we've never seen before. So a conspiracy is a secret plan by a group to do something unlawful or harmful. And so the conspirator conspiratories or stories, conspiracy stories, they're real. You know, they're real because there's real agendas against, you know, for cutting our people off as a nation. In the meantime, in between time, the Lord is starting to um, persecute um, Satan. He, he's starting to put hell back on Esau, Edom and ruin this this house. The scriptures talk about a house divided cannot stand. Esau, Edom is pretty much a very divided person. They're fighting themselves, Russia versus um, Ukraine and not to mention that there's a lot of, um, you know, Esau propagate, propagating this Am Amalekites right over there in the state of Israel, propagating all of this for world governments and dominance. But Esau's at this place and time where they, they're fighting each other. You can't stand. Israel never stood if we were fighting this in-house fighting, infighting. You, you can't you can't make it out of that unless you hear that first. But that's not the route Esau is going to go. He's he's consumed with greed, lust. Right. And that's why the scriptures tell you it shall fall upon his own pate. Basically, all the things that he sought out to do, he's going to it's going to be done unto him. And the scriptures say double. So he's going to go into captivity. He's going to be killed with the sword, that, that thermonuclear instrument. All right. And so J.P. Morgan, CEO, demands world government seize private property to save the planet. So this is where we're headed to a time in which uh, they're going to seize your property, seize your belongings, seize you. You are the commodity that they want to get rid of. So I'm going to keep it short and simple for this point in time. But until next time, I brought this eyes. Y'all about to the brothers. Till next time. Shalom.